Much of the mainstream resistance to Donald Trump hinges heavily on the claim that American democracy was hijacked in 2016 and Russia is to blame. Yes, it did happen, and they're going to do it again. Russia hacking. Russia had meddled in the election to try to throw the election to Trump. This is the purpose of Russian active measures. It's to erode confidence in democracy. But, dear liberals, I just feel like you haven't thought this one through. So let's break it down, from one former liberal to all you current ones. First, your main contention is that the electoral system and democracy itself have been compromised, yet your main solution is to use the exact same hijack system to win back your power? November 6th, midterm elections. I believe that we will win! I believe that we will win! Are you seeing the discrepancy here? Worse, this is a historical and systemic problem that was around long before 2016. And I hate to say it, but it really shows your privilege that now you care about election meddling, now that it's affecting your first world life. After all these years of the CIA's meddling in other countries' elections and governments abroad and installing right-wing authoritarians who have oppressed innocent people, after egregious abuses of power from presidents you liked and still wax nostalgic over who killed innocent men, women, and children, violently destroying their self-determination with your tax dollars, now suddenly you care about people's sovereignty? After years of lobbyists for corrupt and repressive countries like Saudi Arabia and Israel attempting to influence the American government, not to mention the many corporate industrial complexes that have backed candidates on both sides of the aisle, corrupting the system to its core, now you're ready to do something about the legitimacy of U.S. elections and American democracy and you're willing to side with some of the worst rights violators in U.S. history to save this system? The CIA has not only helped to topple governments around the world, it also infiltrated anti-war and civil rights movements domestically. It contemplated faking terror attacks to justify war and terrorize the public. It imported Nazi scientists. It drugged people without their consent. It funded the radicals who became Al-Qaeda and more recently armed extremist groups in Syria. And it infiltrated the corporate media you continue to trust. The FBI also infiltrated activist movements and tried to get Martin Luther King to kill himself. It now fakes terror plots to take credit for foiling them while entrapping marginalized people and works to violate Americans' privacy. And you want these clowns to lead the crusade to save your freedom? Look, I see your good intentions and I share your frustrations with living under a government and regime you didn't vote for and don't consent to. But here's the deal. You can't solve a problem with the same level of thinking and the same actions that created it. Or by forcing an ideology you like on people who also don't consent especially when the Democrats agree with the Republicans you hate on every major issue that exploits, harms, and violates us and others around the world. You have to question the fundamental power of the institutions, democracy and government, that put Trump in power and have always been prone to corruption and abuses of power. It makes no difference to me whether the Russians or the Israelis or Goldman Sachs influence the election. What matters to me is that anyone, including you, including Trump supporters, thinks they have a right to pick who rules over me. So instead of punching a hole or tapping a screen in elections you're already convinced are illegitimate with a strategy that has yielded mounting corruption, suffering, and violence, why not actually do something? One of the biggest, most dangerous lies this government has convinced you of is that the best, if not only, way to make a difference is to vote in their systems, and nothing could be further from the truth. You can volunteer for organizations and efforts that truly help people. You can donate to causes that can help save the environment. You can grow food for yourself and your community to avoid big agriculture. You can opt out of the monolithic government-sanctioned banking system or support secure communications to circumvent government surveillance. The choices are infinite, but one thing is imperative. You have to put your money and action where your mouth is, instead of continuing to participate in a system you fear is hijacked that produced Donald Trump. If you don't try something different, your resistance is doomed to fail. In fact, it's not even a resistance. It's just controlled opposition. Peace.